So this one's going to be probably my last of my wooden multi-rotor series. I've done a few now, so I've been enjoying them. But what all I want now is a, an acro quadcopter. It's as light as I can get it with timber. That will take these 10 inch props. With just a bit of room to spare. So basically 27 centimeters length from there to there. So it'll be pretty much an X but in an H form, uh, which makes it about 380 across. These are 10 inch props. So I've got my uh, Talon Turnergy. 330 there, but the most I can get on it's 9 inch props, so and I love flying that one, so I thought I'd just try something a little bit larger so that it can take these 10 inches. I've got these 1400 kV energy motors, 28 26s that I'll use, so nice and fast. Not sure how I go with the 10 inch props. We'll uh, make a start. When it's flying, I'll let you know. So that will be the basis of this little H frame. Basically, the four bits of square 18 millimeter pine, a bit of ply. Still not sure whether I'll run the full length or actually cut it in just the, the bits that are required, a couple of bits on each end. And then a bit for the controller. I think I might do that because then you've got a bit more capacity to put wiring in between and the battery underneath. Because with these 10 inch props, there's not going to be much room for a battery on top. So it'll be a controller in the middle and there won't be much room for anything else. So that's about uh, some of it. So there it is. Final result. 267 grams. Probably a few more grams required for the struts across here for the KK and the one on the bottom for the, the battery, so I'll be up around 300 when it's finished.